Hey, have you ever wanted to share your unique ideas with the world, but then you didn't because you started to doubt yourself? Am I original enough or is this just copying someone else's stuff? It's a common struggle, especially for creators and artists online. And today I want to help you break down that barrier and give you a new perspective to help you get comfortable sharing your work. As you may or may not know, besides coaching and training, I'm also a musician. So I get a lot of perspective and a lot of inspiration from making music and listening to music, exploring music. So today I want to have a look at some musical examples to help you unleash your creativity. And the first example is from Lady Gaga's song Alejandro. Imagine her sitting down to compose that song and the captivating violin melody in the intro starts playing in her mind. Listen to it. Okay, editing Arno here. I can't share the snippets um, for anything more than a few seconds without getting into a lot of copyright trouble with YouTube. Um, so I'm sharing just a few short seconds here, but I'll share all the links to the original videos or performances on Spotify or YouTube uh, in the description below. Credit where credit's due, right? Now get, let's get back to the video. Guess what? That melody traces its roots back to Vittorio Monti's Chardas. It's a classical concert piece for violin. Let's listen to that for a little bit. Now, if you compare the two, you'll hear that Lady Gaga didn't just copy it, she reimagined it. She added her own twist, she used part of it to make something bigger, she crafted something entirely unique around it, making it her own. So, our first lesson, if you will, is that your ideas do not need to be 100%, 100% original to shine. Embrace your inspiration, remix it with your flavor, let it become something new. Let it become your new masterpiece. As a second example, let's listen to All By Myself, originally by Eric Carter, but made famous by Celine Dion. When I was young, I never needed it. Would it surprise you to know that the iconic melody of the verse is actually borrowed from Rachmaninoff's second piano concerto? Listen to it here, it's clear as day. You see, these artists didn't shy away from building upon the genius of those who came before them. So our second perspective or lesson, if you will, is draw inspiration from various sources, then let them harmonize, let them mix and mingle and create something unique that resonates with your voice to your audience so that your voice can also be an inspiration to others. And the third and final example I want to have a look at is Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. Remember that opening line, that song, that, that, that riff? In fact, let me play it for you. I am a musician after all. I'll be right back. So I don't have a guitar or pedals or fancy bass or anything, but I do have this monstrosity. It's a baritone sax. So this is the riff. I'm talking about, I'm sure you've heard this. It's what the song opens with. It's super catchy. It makes the song instantly recognizable. It's a gritty rock anthem, but did you know that it echoes the power of Anton Bruckner's Fifth Symphony? That symphony was composed almost 150 years ago. Let's listen to the original theme here. Again, you can hear that it's not a copy-paste job. It's a transformation. It's a rebirth of the classical theme into a modern day song. So our third lesson, our third perspective me is this. 
your ideas, even if rooted in others, evolve into something entirely new through your lens. Embrace that transformation. Now, of course, don't blatantly copy someone else's work. That's not cool. And always give credit where credit is due. But do use what resonates with you and allow yourself to be inspired. Remix fearlessly and let your voice, your ideas be your guiding instrument. Remember, your audience might not even recognize the original sources of your inspiration, just as you might not have known the classical pieces behind these hit songs. What matters is how you use your unique melody to express your thoughts and ideas and how that can help others. So, please, let that inspiration out. It's what makes you come alive. In fact, about that, let's end with a quote by Howard Thurman. Don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do it. Because what the world needs are more people who've come alive. The world is waiting to hear your unique tune. You got this. I'm rooting for you. See you in the next one.